Spring is within reach, and a sign is the annual flower and garden show on Long Island. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff got a sneak peek, and she's got some tips on how to get ready for spring flowers right now. No, it's not too soon to turn frigid fingers into green thumbs. The day's are getting longer. The sun is up for a substantial amount of time in warming the soil. Spring's not only in sight, it's in full view at the Hicks Nursery's Flower and Garden Show, an annual turning point. Makes you happy you're alive. <laughs> Very uplifting in a big way because it's finally just around the corner, you're just about there. Okay, it felt like an abbreviated winter. So, did plants have enough time to rest? Oh, yeah, plenty of winter. It's going to be a beautiful spring. It's a heck of a lot better than last year. And don't worry about snow in the forecast either. Bulbs poking out will weather the cold dips. But if you're eager to get dirty right now, you can put down mulch. So you have to water less. So the roots stay moist without, with less water. And yes, put in early plants. The first rotation goes in now with heathers and tulips and, and forest bulbs. You can plant ranunculus and pansies are the, the ultimate that everybody loves to plant. They go in now. They are cold. They like the cold better than the heat. And if you're like me and you plant the same things year after year because you think you know what grows best in the Northeast, the experts say you can think outside the box. Borrow ideas from the Southwest or across the country by bringing indoor plants outside. You could do tropicals and they'll live all summer long for you. But don't be impatient. It's still not safe to plant the old favorite impatience. They're still gone from our landscape due to a powdery mildew. I think there's better things. I think begonias now, some of the new varieties perform even better than impatience. You get a lot more coverage, longer bloom time. Last year at this time, the ground was frozen two feet deep. Not this year. The ground's ready. Are you? In Westbury, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.